Sushi. The ancient Japanese street food is now more popular than ever. But did you know that there are rules to the game? Maybe not if you're feasting on California rolls, but any legit sushi chef worth his weight in bluefin knows and strictly abides by these seven rules. One, oshibori. That warm, wet towel you receive prior to commencing a sushi meal, use it. But after cleaning your hands, roll it back up neatly so the towel looks the same as when it was presented. Some restaurants will let you keep the towel for the duration of the meal, and others will bring you a new one. But definitely use it to wipe your fingers during the meal, especially if you're eating sushi with your hands. If your face needs cleaning, that's okay too. Two, never pour your own drink. It's customary to serve others alcohol, but it's bad form to help yourself. If you're low, pick up the bottle and offer your guests, and somebody will return the favor. Three, have you heard the saying the sushi is 90% rice and 10% fish? It's true. In Japan, rice is everything. Everything. And the Japanese take great pride in their rice, especially sushi rice. So, don't fill your soy sauce shoyu dish, that little dish that holds soy sauce, with more than a couple of drops of soy. It's considered an insult to add too much sauce because then you're basically saying to the chef, your rice and fish are so bad that I need to mask the flavor with all this soy sauce. Four, and while we're on the subject of rice and soy sauce, don't dip your sushi rice side into the soy. The proper dipping technique is to dip fish side in. That's because the rice will absorb too much soy sauce, overpowering the flavor of the fish. Also, watch out for pieces of rice floating in your shoyu dish. That's also considered disrespectful to the chef. And it's worthwhile to note that if your nigiri comes pre-sauced, definitely pass on the soy sauce dip altogether. Five, let's talk about wasabi, because it's good stuff. But don't mix the grated green root into soy sauce. If you're eating nigiri, the appropriate amount of wasabi has already been swiped between the fish and the rice by your chef. And if you fancy a bit more, just add a bit directly to the fish. And then there's six, ginger. Please don't eat it on your nigiri. It's a palate cleanser and should be consumed only between sushi courses. Seven, if you're sitting at a sushi bar and a chef is cutting and organizing your nigiri to order, once he places a piece in front of you, eat it right away. Don't hang out for a few minutes and then eat it. The rice is warm and the chef wants you to consume the nigiri at that temperature. Because sushi is an art, not a hamburger.